Okay, today we have both the new iPad and the top of the line Asus Transformer Prime. So, how does the latest Apple iPad stack up against what is arguably one of the best examples of an Android tablet? Let's find out. On a weight and thickness comparison, the Prime was already superior to the iPad 2, and now that the new iPad has added a few millimeters and grams, the Prime is now easily the lighter and thinner of the two tablets. You can actually feel that difference um, when you're holding the two. The Prime is a full 76 grams lighter. Now, as we all know, uh, Apple are infamous for not including any memory slots or USB ports. I actually think this is uh, even more important than ever in today's ever-increasing mobile society. Now, imagine you've just taken a picture on your DSLR and you want to play around with the image on the new iPad, and believe me, that's exactly what you're going to want to do uh, with the screen resolution. Without buying an accessory, it would be a pain, to say the least, to import that image uh, and then use iPhoto. On the Prime, on the other hand, you do have a micro SD on the main tablet and a full SD slot on the keyboard dock. Now, this makes it easier to import images onto your tablet. Also on the Prime, we have a micro HDMI and USB port. Now, one could argue that connectivity-wise, the Prime does win hands down. From a display point of view, the iPad is like nothing we've ever seen before. It's 2048 by 1536 screen, it's gorgeous. When you, hand it, uh, when you hold it in landscape, uh, you can just imagine how good full HD movies are gonna look. So let's do a quick calculation here. 2048 by 1536 equals to over 3.1 million pixels. The Prime with the 1280 by 800 comes in at just over 1 million pixels. So the iPad has about three times the number of pixels, so the Prime is easily outplayed on the display factor. Now, from a processor point of view, the Tiger 3 is a quad-core chipset with 12 graphics cores. The new iPad has a dual-core processor with four graphics cores. Now, Apple claimed that the new A5X chip is four times faster than Tiger 3. I'm going to reserve judgment on that, as we are going to need to do more extensive testing, and we'll have a benchmarking segment that will cover that. Now, onto the camera. The new iPad has been upgraded to a 5 megapixel sensor with 1080p recording, along with a VGA camera at the front. The Prime, on the other hand, has a high resolution 8 megapixel camera that can also film 1080p, and it has the uh, benefit of an LED flash. The front camera is also an improvement over the new iPad at 1.2 megapixels. Then the Prime is something the iPad doesn't have and probably never will, an integrating keyboard dock that boosts battery life to 18 hours and also provides shortcuts to touch functions. Now, Apple rely on third-party vendors to provide that kind of typing option, but when it comes to um, ease of use, the innovation of having a keyboard, if you need one, uh, is compelling for the Prime. Uh, so, on paper, aside from Apple's absolutely phenomenal screen, the Prime's hardware is a strong contender against the might of the iPad. But as we know, hardware is not everything, and we need to look deeper into the operating system and its surrounding uh, ecosystem. Now, the new iPad uses the latest iOS 5.1 um, that provides multitasking, very intuitive app management, integrated notifications, and also voice dictation, amongst other things. It, it is so easy to use that a two-year-old can pick it up and start using it. Now, the launch of iCloud, iTunes Match, while syncing, photo stream, and FaceTime, among other things, gives users a massive amount of functionality on their iPad before even looking at the uh, App Store. Android, while well, it's more technical and requires a steeper learning curve, but once you have the hang of it, you can modify, customize, um, and personalize your environment. Flash is also supported on the Android OS, but it will become less important as HTML5 becomes uh, prevalent. For a pick up and use type of experience, OS um, is iOS is hands down the best. If you want to tip, if you want to tweak and personalize your tablet, then the Prime would definitely be attractive to you. When it comes to ecosystems, Apple has iTunes, the App Store, and the largest number of iPad specific apps so far, 200,000. Um, and this ecosystem will continue to build on itself. Developers are attracted to the App Store and create great content, which in turn attracts buyers, which attracts even more developers. Google, on the other hand, has nowhere near the amount of tablet-specific apps to make it the sole reason to buy um, an Android tablet. Most of Android strength has been in the vast number of manufacturers developing phone hardware, and so developers have focused on that segment. It's been the chicken and egg scenario with Android. Developers won't want to start developing a large array of Android large screen apps until there is a sufficient user base to sell to and users um, are turned away by the lack of tablet apps. So, hardware-wise, the Prime holds itself well against the new and improved iPad. The competing operating systems will appeal to different people, I think, um, and the ecosystem for Apple has got the tablet market stitched up. When it comes to variety and choice of apps, there is nothing that comes close to Apple and their offering. So, that's our quick comparison to, uh, to the new iPad and the Asus Transformer Prime. We'd love to hear what you think. Now, make sure you look out for a few more videos in this series, and as always, we look forward to your comments below. Share this video where you can, and uh, we also hope you can join us on our website. Until next time.